Beautiful. Oh. This is how we normally start the day. Yeah, this is how we usually start the day. So we're a design consultancy, um, so we have varied clients over different projects, different disciplines. We've been working together for almost five years. Five years. Yeah. But Harry's got a very mechanical intuition. Um, and I bring more of a front-end research, sketch concepts, like front-end design. So the two kind of go together really well. It looks incredible. I love it's really a love real it. statement piece. The details on it, the user experience, the interface, um, and it's got a timeless quality about it as well. Just seeing it work for the first time was, yeah, pretty amazing. Just how it works, the magic, and that's quite... Yeah, that's a good way of describing it, actually, because yeah. it's, it's so complex inside, yet yeah. what it produces is so beautifully simple, and it just, you know, it just works. When you pressure form, you can pressurise the entire chamber up to four bar, which is the equivalent of about four Range Rovers, all on top of one another in a space this big, which is a lot of pressure. So that's how we can get the amazing detail from the, from the multiplier. It's very difficult for us to CAD certain textures, um, especially organic textures, so very fine details. So for example, sand, you can infill a mould with sand and you can pick up every single grain. You know, it's, it's all so accurate though. It's, it's, it's as though it's been injection moulded, which for us is amazing because we don't have to pay for tens of thousands of pounds worth of tooling and we just have basically instant results. 3D printing's come a long way. You can do different types of material uh, flexibility, but it's not, because it's layered, you don't get the kind of raw nature of what the material should be. With the multiplier, you just get a perfect surface in one, and there's no finishing required, which means, again, you save loads of time. Yeah. So when you've got clients around the world, you can quickly multiply different forms and send them off. Uh, rather than waiting a week for 3D prints to happen, you can just do it that day. Previously, when we used to prototype, it uh, was a case of outsourcing. To have everything done in-house just cuts down the lead time and the cost, um, and we can just constantly iterate without worrying about it. We can control everything. Yeah. Over here, time, cost, quality, it's great. Just One of our aims is to actually design our own products and sell them. Um, so the multiplier will really help to do that. Sell products that have come straight from the machine with very little finishing. Uh, and send them straight out as though it's a you know, completely finished product. We've always believed in having as much equipment that we need as possible rather than outsourcing. When we outsource componentry, certain components can cost between two to three hundred pounds uh, for a part back. And once you've paid off the cost of the multiplier, these sheets are in pounds. So it makes a huge difference financially for us. And we also love buying cool machines. So that's a good reason. <laughs>